welcome everybody to a very special episode of the It's in Queens podcast. Uh, we're going to be covering events from April 19th to April 25th. And uh, you may know me from previous It's in Queens podcasts, almost all of them. But you may not know my friend over here, Mr. Adam Hineker, our producer, the famous Tukupai, <laughs> who uh, Rob That's always right. I'm usually, I'm usually behind the camera. He's usually making things happen behind the yeah. camera, but he's out front. Uh, we're missing Mr. Mackay today. Uh, he'll be back next week. No panic. He just had a little something to do today. And, and an event. Yeah, he had an event, and he had to be there. And that's that's, that's the a, thing about events. <laughs> you got to be there. Obligations. Got to be there for him. So we're gonna we're gonna power through. We're gonna do our best to. Uh, oh, I think we're gonna. We're not just gonna power through. I think we're gonna have fun. I think we're gonna riff. Yeah. Riffing. Just like our world famous chemistry that we have off camera, that's I think it. is gonna translate. To my dining room. No, oh, that's uh, right. We also uh, are. Perfect. <laughs> and a new spot today. Since yes. Rob's not with us, we're not at the QEDC studios. Yeah, we're at my house. We're at your house. And yeah. it's an undisclosed location. You can never find it on never. a map. You'll never be able to and find it. you'll never get out of me. You can try, <laughs> but you won't be able to find it. Absolutely not. Um, so this week is a very special week in Queens because uh, upcoming is the Easter break for kids. So on Friday is when... I know the public schools let out for sure. Easter break. Mm-hmm. So everybody's off next week. So all these events or a majority of the events are family friendly, kid friendly, things you can do uh, with the kids. And um, we have some adult events, but most of the stuff is going to be family oriented. Okay. All right. And, uh, you know, Rob usually puts them in like cool groups of sure. events. And mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I got chronological. You want to go free, free flowing. I got chronological. Mm-hmm. That's it. They're going to be in order. I'm going to start from in the order 19th. From when, when they happen. When they happen. I like to it. To the end. And that's it. Um, so the first thing up is a place we've talked about before, the Plaxall Gallery down in Long Island City. They're doing something called Painted Alice. And it's a musical adaptation of Alice in Wonderland in an immersive style with the audience among works of art. So, I mean, if you want to get in it, Mm -hmm. this is the place to do that. And that's happening on April 19th through April 28th at the Plaxall Gallery down in Berlin. Immersive. That's it. They might be all up in your face. Right. I think if everything goes correctly, they'll be all up in your face. Yeah, And they're kind of part of the immersion process. Maybe you become part of the show. I might. Mm -hmm. Might be a teacup. (laughs) Short and stuff. Oh, that's right. a teapot. Yeah, teapot. <laughs> teapot. I don't know. <laughs> but it, there's always a possibility. Maybe a, a, a tall hat. Oh, I'd like that. Mm-hmm. Mad Hatter. Mad Hatter. You got that going on. You got mm-hmm. that vibe. Mad Hatter. <laughs> so moving on very quickly from that, we're going on to April 19th again through April 21st at the Museum of Moving Image, which is mm. a place we always seem to mention each week with their programming. And this one is called uh, Black Mother from Kalik Allah. And Kalik Allah is a Jamaican fellow, and he went back home to visit his relatives, and he found just a diver- so many different characters, he started filming it, and it became a documentary, basically. So it says, uh, this filmmaker became immersed in all sides of Jamaican life, from holy men to prostitutes. Mm. And the only caveat was that they had to be interesting to him. And everything in between. Everything in between. Rastas? Got, that's maybe. it. Maybe. Absolutely. Come on. Yeah. It's a big part of island life sure. over there, no? Uh-huh. So he went uh, down there, and this is his journey of discovery, basically. And as you may know, I got married on the island of Jamaica. I didn't know that. Oh, look at that. Did well, you really? Yeah. Well, yeah, I'll show it's you. It's in Queen's Fun Facts. That's right. Yeah, that's what's going to be coming on test later on. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> on the pop-up video version, That's right. Maybe. Oh, remember those? Those are so oh, great. I love pop-up on video, VH1. of course. Yeah, I love those. That's things. how I learned all my uh, you know facts that I trot out at. Cocktail parties. No, is that right? Well, well everybody you, thinks I'm so interesting. You you are you easily know, one of the most interesting men from, from I've Papa ever met. Video. <laughs> <laughs> um, so here's a uh, April 19th again, starting up on April 19th, spring recess family activities, and this goes through the 28th, and this is uh, also at the Museum of the Moving Image, um, and Astoria's Kaufman's Art Art District. So um, what they're going to do is um, they're going to have a green screen stage where kids can sing in the rain against the background of their choice, and create claymation movies and characters based on the Wallace and Gromit movies. Do you remember those cartoons, Wallace and Gromit? Yeah. Yeah. It's like claymation, and they did all kinds. It never really spoke, but uh, they conveyed all the things you needed to know through their 
through their like facial yeah. expressions and right. stuff. Right. Yeah. I got to say, in hearing all these, I'm it's creating a little resentment towards my parents. They did nothing because with you, I right? did, They just were like, it was a, probably a stick or something <laughs> yes, yeah. that you could use your imagination. On summer vacations oh or when, when these- These kids pers- got a green screen. I know. These spring breaks and summer vacations, Saturdays and Sundays, it was right. basically get out of the house by 10. Sure. Don't come back till dinner. All you really hoped for was like a somewhat interesting neighbor kid that maybe also liked baseball cards. Yes, yeah. oh, absolutely. These kids get to become their favorite, uh, you know, cartoon characters. They're making art. I mean, they're, they're being cre- immersed. They're being immersed. It's all about immersion this week. Yeah. That's our theme. Mm-hmm. We got it. <laughs> Full immersion. <laughs> Full immersion. <laughs> um, next up we, on April twentieth, we're moving to, moving over to another new date. Um, we have live. Uh, this is the Sa- Sakura. Matsuri Festival, and this is at uh, Cherry Grove near the New York State Pavilion. You know, in Flushing Meadow Park, there's a huge, big thing of cherry trees over there, and they blossom around this time every year. So the Sakura Matsuri Festival is a traditional Japanese uh, ceremony. It has drum performances, tea ceremony, and a traditional Japanese chorus that will happen on April 20th right in Flushing Meadows Park. I mean, how great is that? That sounds like a great afternoon. Oh, yeah. I mean, I don't th- – and there's no charge on here. I don't see anything. That's, yeah. It's a free free event. I mean, how can you go wrong there? Of course, you know what else April 20th is? And I know what you might be Listen, thinking. we're dancing around. <laughs> it is my Uncle Gary's birthday. Oh. Yeah. Of course. Well, of course. Uncle and I, Gary. And I know we were tiptoeing around it. I didn't want to get into and it. And I wanted to mention it. If you were going to bring it up, that was fine with me. But because I felt like it was the pink elephant in the room. Well, it's also Earth Day. Oh, it is also Earth Day, <laughs> yes, too. That was the, that, that's a little more controversial. That is, it is. Um, so on uh, 420 at 930 a.m., uh, there's going to be a volunteer spring cleanup with mulching and planting at the Bowen House Farm um, and 19th Century Parsons Nursery at the Bowen House in Flushing. Nice. So if you want to give back and you want to contribute and clean up uh, Queens, that's your chance right there. April 20th, Bowen House Museum. Um, there's also a... Barnyard Egg Hunt mm. at the Queens County Farm Museum. Now I know you love looking for eggs. Yeah. I mean Well, I like I like uh two things I like looking for eggs and I like anything that's very down home. Oh, and this, this is, is very down this home. This is down home for you, my friend. Yeah. This is gonna happen. So that's eleven o'clock. They also have hay rides, hunts throughout the day with mm. Whisk, Whiskers the Bunnies making nice. an appearance. Which I know you were wondering about that, but he is going to <laughs> be on site. What's he been up to? <laughs> Whiskers the Bunny. He's not so busy the rest of the year. Sure. Gets real busy during Easter time. Though. Right. Yeah. So he's killing it right now. Um, and then we have uh, on April 20th as well, Earth Day, another Earth-friendly um, event. It's a guided tour to learn about the global origins of plants and how they're used in different cultures. Mm. And where would you think this is going to be held? What Queen's institution would Some they- Some sort of uh, uh, terrarium or something? Botanical Garden, Botanical Garden. That's it. Queen's Botanical yeah. Garden. Love Botanical it. Botanical Immigrants Tour, mm-hmm. um, 11 a.m. on April 20th. And I think you've heard um, Rob talk about this next event quite a bit. His buddy and our friend, friend to the show, f- mm. friends of the Queen's Tourism Council, Speedy Montalvo, sure. is uh, running the Queen's Marathon. A 26.2 mile race, looping course, um, and people who uh, finish the race in a certain time can qualify for the Boston Marathon. Is that right? Yeah, it's an official qualifier. So you're gonna April 21st at 8 a.m. You meet near the Queens Museum in Flushing Meadow, Corona Park. You do a bunch of loops. You, yeah, that's it. You're in Boston next year. There you go. Yeah, he's also looking for volunteers to. Man the um, water stations and help clean up and mm-hmm. do other things. And, of course, he's looking for any sponsors that want to throw some stuff in his bag. So reach out to Speedy. And Speedy if you runs want to do that. this uh, kind of whole operation. He runs the entire Queens Distant Runner program. I feel like with a name like Speedy, it would be a missed opportunity if you didn't do something running related. Yeah. No. Or, you know, race car. You could be a race car driver. Oh, yeah. Other than that, those are kind of your options. Though. Yeah, well, he's kind of, yeah, he's pigeonholed himself. Yeah. That's what he did. Uh huh. Yeah, he's never going to be a painter. No. <laughs> and then on, so that's Monday, that's Sunday, I believe, April 21st, right? Is that the Sunday? Yeah. The I believe so. Yeah. I would have to look at a calendar. No, we don't need to do that. No. Just take my word for it. Um, then on April 22nd through the 26th, so that's spring break for the kids. That's really when mm-hmm. everybody else is mm-hmm. off. 
and um, it's called Sustainable Spring Break. Five days of installations, prototypes, workshops, and experiences related to sustainable life. Mm. So I guess uh, we're catching rainwater. Oh, here it is. Actually, it gives me the rest of the details. Let me get. Let me tell you the actual details. <laughs> <laughs> um, new exhibit called Solar Cat, um, created by designer in residence Crystal Prasad with her explainer partners, and also the Gazillion Bubble Show. Did you ever see that? No. It, there was. It's a, like an off Broadway show, and this these guys and girls, and they just do art out of these bubbles, and it's mm-hmm. actually for kids. It's a great show. Bubble art. Bubble art. That's it. And that's all at the New York Hall of Science. All week, the New York Hall of Science is programming for kids. So if you are stuck, don't know where to go, take them to the Hall of Science. you got a full day ahead of you. Mm-hmm. Um, then on April 22nd, another Earth Day event featuring an early walk through nature trails, followed by interactive stories around the fire circle. And here's where you're going to love marshmallows, yes. orange slices, and for some reason, tomatoes <laughs> included. Okay. I don't get the I tomato mean, you, part. You can keep the second two, but yeah, I, yeah. I want to. I like a some more. Yeah, some more. Mm. The comedian. Um, I, you know, I would say I would like another. <laughs> some more. <laughs> additional. <laughs> additional some more. You know, and that's at the Alley Pond Environmental <laughs> Center. <laughs> <laughs> and that's on the 22nd, if I didn't say that originally. Uh, also on the 22nd, be a pollinator. See how they did that? Ooh. Be a pollinator. Yes. Um, that is going to be at the Queens County Farm Museum in Little Neck Parkway. And again, in celebration of Earth Day, in collaboration with the American Chestnut Foundation, the New York chapter, mm. the farm transplants six chestnut trees in order to reintroduce them to their native habitat. program includes beeswax candle making, which... That's the one thing I'll tell you. This this apartment is definitely lacking mm-hmm. candles. Sure. So this might be an event you want yeah, to yeah, check yeah. out. I was mm-hmm. a little upset. I, I said it's it not be... your business. Whoa, whoa, excuse me, sir. Excuse me, fine, sir. <laughs> it is your beeswax, but it it's, is. Nice. it's not none of your concern, <laughs> my good man. <laughs> that is true. I've, I've overstepped my bounds here. Um, they're also going to have some bee talks. Mm, okay. <laughs> and attract the John Hayride. They love the Hayrides at the Queen's yeah. Museum. Yeah. I love a good hayride. I've, I want to see. It's probably been 20 years since I've been on a hayride. Really? Yeah. We got to get you back out there. It's renaissance. <laughs> on April 22nd, we're staying on that date. Mm. We also have an Easter egg hunt at um, Lewis Latimer House, which is a, um, a classic uh, classic house. It's a um, historical like, house. Historical house. Thank you. Yeah. God. If you weren't here. I got words. You do. Some yeah. of the best words. Some of the best words I've ever heard. <laughs> Uh, so in East Area Con, 3.30, April 22nd, for children under the age of nine. So you show up with a 10-year-old, and they will throw you okay. right out. Right out. <laughs> no can, no double you digits. Can, you can sneak a 10-year-old in. I think you it's could? Yeah, why not? Yeah, we'll give them Just a fake. Them, we'll swing by Times Square. We'll give them a fake ID. You know what I did one year? I took uh, my guy, you know, uh-huh. Liam, when he was like two years old, to an Easter egg hunt. Mm-hmm. And what they did was, which was smart, they separated into age groups. So- one and two year olds right. here, three and four year olds here, and then whatever. But you know what happened? A five year old snuck in and started elbowing the kids. Whoa. You know, give them a little, yeah. little, little bit of the business. A little juke. Yeah, it wasn't cool. A little bob and weave. That's right. I checked his, I asked his parents for birth certificate. <laughs> right. And yes. They promptly punched me in the <laughs> face. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, but anyway, on April 24th, we're also more spring break fun. We have canvas painting, Jackson Pollock splatter painting, which I know you're really Love it. into. Face painting, balloon art, a spring-themed interactive children's puppet show, an interactive children's musical performance, a magic show, and popcorn. Holy cow, this is amazing. I like that there's always a snack involved. Oh, you got to feed these kids. That's what I'm mostly looking forward to. Yeah, you got to feed the they're yeah. animals. And then parenting is the, the snacking. Hangry came from kids not eating. Mm-hmm. I think that's really where. Anyway, this is at Rainy Park, uh, which is uh, Vernon Boulevard and 34th Avenue in Astoria. That is something else. April 24th at noon, all kinds of things going on there. Also mm. on April 24th at the Alley Pond Environmental Center. They're not, they're giving the bees a rest. And it's an Earth Day. <laughs> putting the bees to bed. <laughs> they're putting the bees to, they're minding their beeswax. <laughs> they, sh- they sure are. Any more bee pond? They're yet? being autonomous. Thank you very much. All right. I thought we had another one in there. Um, it's called an Earth Day Drop, Swap, and Shop. So they're asking you to drop off gently used, clean, mm. functional children's toys, games, puzzles, and books. Grab a bag and let the fun begin. So that's pretty cool. So 
you know, my kid grows out of stuff pretty quickly these days. Right. You know, so it's nice to actually recycle that stuff because you pay a lot of money for these toys and they're done with them in like mm-hmm. minutes, it seems. But uh, it's a great way to recycle the toys and have another kid kind of enjoy them. Very cool. That's at Alley Pond Environmental Center. I said April 24th. <clears throat> so here's another uh, film series, but this time it's at the Queens Museum. Okay. It's called What If, the Spring 2019 Film Series. And this is in conjunction with the Mundos Alternos. See if we had Rob here. He does oh, great. He's got he's got all the, Spa- uh, the he's Spanish got the great pronunciation. Yeah. So I'm yeah. assuming Mundos. What is it? Mundos. Mundos Alternos. Which I Mundos assume. Mundos Alternos. Nice. Well, that's very good. You could be on Watto. Sure. <laughs> Watto. Watto. <laughs> yeah, that's the Spanish language radio station. All right. Um, so I'm assuming Mundos. Mundos Alternos is alternative worlds, right? I mean, I, yeah. I guess yeah, I would have to look. Um, it's an eight week series uh, on films on the possibilities of alter time and space. Look at that. If I just would have kept reading, I would have gotten mm-hmm. to the answer. Um, each film is introduced by Mark Ethan Toporek. Uh, he's a member of the Actor Studio, which is that um, you know, group of actors down um, in like uh, in the 40s. And I believe also of the Actor Studio is like, uh, what's the guy who was married to Susan Sarandon? Tim? Tim Robbins? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Tim Robbins. I think he's yeah, a member of the Actor Studio. Um, and also Mark was in a movie called The Confession with Ben Kingsley. Um, he's been in a couple different films. So he's going to lead the post-screening uh, discussion. The April 24th movie is The Truman Show. Did mm. you see The Truman Show? I did years ago. With uh, Jim Carrey. Yeah, right? yeah, great movie. It was like a commentary on society, basically. Sure. Very meta. Right? Yeah. Everyone's going to have like a podcast. Oh, boy. Someday. Can you, could you imagine? Be on film. <laughs> I could imagine it. Not something I'm interested in. No. <laughs> no. no. Not for us. No. Uh, keeping with the Earth Day theme, which we've skipped over and come back to a couple times, Earth Day presentation on April 25th, Peggy Kurtz, of the direct, who's the Director of Cultural Arts and Jewish Heritage Programs at Common Point, Queens. She'll talk about the environment and a recent UN climate report, mm. uh, and that's at Alley Pond Environmental Center. They love the environment over there. It's yeah. a good place mm-hmm. to be called mm-hmm. an environmental center and do a lot of things for the environment. Um, and that's really it. Um, there's a couple of things that are continuing that I should probably touch on. Babylon, that movie that um, never got f- never got screened in America because it was too controversial, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that is still playing until April 21st at the uh, Museum of the Moving Image. Um, the Cherry Blossoms over at Latimer House are still happening through the April 21st. Um, and I knew this book as Ten Little Indians, but I guess they also the alternate title was and then there were none. Agatha mm-hmm. Christie. Mm-hmm. It's a murder mystery, um, and they're doing that at the Secret Theater through April twenty eighth. Okay. Um, what else? Maria Valencia Bouquet until April twenty seventh. That's at the Chocolate Factory Theater. Uh, it says this performance piece contemplates authorship within the premise of transmission. We, you know what? I'm, I'm wow. already lost. Yeah. Uh, relation, uh, relation, alliance, and ensemble. Valencia uses her body as the main archive as she quotes dances by legends. Dude, that is heady. Wow. You're going to have to really know what you're looking at when you see that. Yeah. But that is, I made it through all of it. We made it. Oh, we did it, Adam. Wow. I mean, it took a lot. Yeah. It took a lot out of me. I don't, I think I'm going to have to take a nap. Mm Mm-hmm. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, if you want to you know, remember, pull out sofa over. <laughs> although I did get through everything, yeah, I may not have given sure. you all the finer points mm-hmm. on it. Everything that I talked about today is on the It's and Queens website, www.itsandqueens.com. Mm-hmm. Don't forget, coming up very soon, May 7th, is the Taste of Queens at New York Hall of Science. So make sure you pick up your tickets. It's one of the, it's the premier food tasting event yeah. in this borough. Over 50 different restaurants in one shot. Plus, uh, there's a bunch of breweries that come by. I know Brooklyn uh, Beer is there every year. Um, Mm -hmm. There's also people from the entrepreneur space that the QEDC does. So last year or the year before, there was a guy who made gourmet marshmallows, Mm. which were killer. Right. Um, But it's an amazing event, so make sure you pick up your ticket. So how does that work for, uh, you know, a... a Festival goer, I get a ticket, mm-hmm. and then do, is that it, or do I have to like buy? Because no, a lot of times, you no, know, once, these you're in, once, once you're in, once you're in, you're in, you're in, 
and it's free food and drink. Oh There's gosh. no extra cost for anything. It's a really, it's a wow, really amazing. Wow, that sounds event. great. Yeah, I'm sold. Look at that. I should be in sales. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but this week I'm just your fellow pod, uh -huh, famous uh -huh. podcaster. Right, right, right. And I can't thank uh, Mr. Yeah, Adam. this was fun. We had a good time. Yeah. You know, it's going to be sad to watch you leave and exactly go to go over there. Right. Just right Shut there. Shut off the camera. <laughs> <laughs> but next week, hopefully, we'll have Rob yeah. back in the house. and We'll see if we you know, can get him. I, he's a hard get these days. Yeah, he's a very busy guy. Well, he's kind of like a man about town. He kind of is everywhere you want to be. Bon vivant. Oh, look at you. Right. Oh, we got French and Spanish. We can <laughs> have a multicultural <laughs> podcast. All right. right. Thanks, everybody. Join us next week on the It's Incredible Podcast.